Hey, any given Tuesday, I'm with it. I been locked in, no kidding on a new way. Full send it, can't be without no dummy. Back to BYU Sports Station, we are live in Studio B alongside Jerem Jordan. I'm Spencer Linton. So much for, you know, slowly easing into things with BYU women's basketball for Kaylee Woolston. Now, you're just going to be a starter just from right day in, one. Baby. Injuries require you, and you've been awesome. Your skill set's so good, you will start. It's unbelievable. It's, she has been so good. I had an opportunity to speak with her while the Cougars are in Hawaii as they prepare for St. Louis tonight. My one-on-one -on -one with sharpshooter and freshman star Kaylee Woolston. Kaylee, what's the best part about playing in a multi-team event on the North Shore of Hawaii? Oh, man, the weather. It's awesome. Being able to get away from Utah and just enjoy the weather for a little while is amazing. <laughs> I love it. I know it's a business trip of sorts. You're there to win games, and you did beat Wake Forest. So how do you manage that type of schedule when you are there to play and compete and win, but you're in Hawaii, so you got to figure out a time to do something fun? Yeah, just making sure we take time to rest and get recovery in. Don't get too tired running around the island, but just still seeing the sights and just kind of balancing everything. What's the best thing you've seen thus far? Uh, probably Pearl Harbor. That was really cool. The Pearl Harbor Memorial. Oh, agreed. Super emotional. Very, very cool. Yep. Okay, now we turn our attention to the basketball games, and let's go ahead and look back a little bit at Wake Forest. It's a team that's scrappy, and they really get into you defensively. They forced 26 turnovers, but didn't seem to slow down the BYU offense. How are you able to overcome 26 turnovers? Um, I think we just got a little sped up, especially at the beginning, so being able to just slow down and play our game, not – um, force them to play their game, but just keep things slow, get an inside out game, things like that. It was Amber Whiting, your head coach's birthday when you beat Wake Forest. And I need to remind people that last year, her first win ever as the BYU head coach also happened on her yep. birthday. So is winning on Amber's birthday now officially a thing? Yes, it is. We got to keep a game on her birthday every year. It's a tradition. <laughs> yep. Okay, note to. Note to self, schedule the toughest opponent on Amber's birthday yes. next season, at least in non-conference play. Uh, yep. What's been the best part about the 4-0 start for BYU women's basketball? Um, I think just the chemistry that we've been building as a team, being able to play together, like just seeing all the extra passes, everybody's so unselfish. It's just so fun playing with this group of girls. When did you realize that you were going to have an even more significant role with the injuries to R.A. Mackie Williams and uh, also, obviously, um, to Nani Falatea? I mean, you're, the two starting guards are out. So when, when did you realize, okay, this is now it's on me? Yeah, um, Coach kind of had a talk with me after those injuries, just saying that I have to step up and play more of a point guard role because I haven't really been doing that. I'm more of a shooting guard, but with just Amari Whiting being our – point guard right now I kind of have to step up and be her backup in a way so just uh learning to fit into that new role while through these injuries and just kind of step up mm. what's been the most challenging part of that transition for you um probably just stepping up to the speed of the game it's different than high school you have to always be like locked in the whole game and it's just different and I think it's been good just kind of changing and adapting to that well, for what it's worth, it doesn't seem to have affected your confidence and certainly not your shooting ability. Um, but when you talk about the speed of the game, how long did it take you to adjust to that? Have you adjusted at this point? I think uh, like us freshmen and newcomers are pretty well adjusted now. You know, we've had the whole summer being able to go to Italy and play together really helped to have those games before to kind of help us get used to it. So I think we're pretty well into it now. So as you push forward and you look at, you know, a matchup with St. Louis tomorrow and, and you're trying to get ready for a team that is speaking of speed. I mean, they run up and down. Mm -hmm. What do you have you, what have you noticed most about the Billikens and maybe what's the number one concern with them? Um, they're a really athletic team. So being able to stay in front one-on-one -on -one and just lock in on defense, I think is a going to be a huge thing for us being able to keep people and in front of us. For sure. Guard your yard, as Mark Pope would say. And I don't know what Amber's terminology is, but we'll get that from her later. <laughs> um, so as while you're, again, on the floor, though, you're trying to get to 5-0, and oh, the Big 12 is looming. What has what does BYU need to do to get ready for Big 12 conference play? 
I think just getting more reps together, uh, get more confidence together as a group since we're so young and new together, being able to figure out our roles. I think we're still kind of figuring that out, um, just be able to be on the court more. Awesome. Kaylee Wilson is with us on BYU Sports Nation. You mentioned Amari Whiting. Both of you are true freshmen on the floor together. How would you explain your relationship with her on and off the floor? It's awesome. I mean, we're, we live in the same apartment together. We spend so much time together. I think that's really important to be able to get that chemistry now because we'll be here together for four years. So being able to be good friends on and off the court is super important. And then how has that relationship off the floor impacted what you're doing on the floor with her? It helps a ton. Being able to have that relationship just kind of helps us mesh better on the floor, helps us like we're really good about picking each other up when we make mistakes and not getting down on each other. And I think that'll be important because obviously as freshmen, we're going to make mistakes and just being able to lift each other up in times like that is important. Kayla, I need to give you props for being a super tough player. Uh, I was calling the UVU game. All of a sudden, you just got this huge bump on your right cheek, and you're just still making threes, and you're getting up and down the floor. It's turning into a little bit of a black eye now, but what is yeah. it like to compete at this level and, and work through, you know, minor injuries, but still, like, it doesn't feel good. How, what's it like to work through that and still be a try and be an elite shooter from the three-point line? Yeah, it's so much fun. I love uh, the competitive level at this level of basketball like how competitive it is at all times um I just thrive in this setting and it's amazing I love it a lot of people ask me what's Amber Whiting like off the like out of the limelight not because we see her on tv she's very fire what what's coach Whiting like when the lights are not on the tv cameras are not on yeah I love Amber she's awesome she's like super personable like she's not one of those head coaches that's super aloof, like she'll get like tries to have a relationship with each individual player and we'll spend, make sure she spends time with each of us to get to know us. She likes to know what we're struggling with, how she can personally help us. And I love that about her. Okay. We'll finish with this. What's the best part about playing basketball with Lauren Gustin? Oh my gosh. (laughs) She's awesome. I'll try and go get a rebound. I'm like, Nope, she's got it. (laughs) She's just a monster inside. It's insane. You, you always know you can get inside to her. You always know she's going to grab those rebounds. Like I've never played with anybody like her and it's, it's amazing to watch. Awesome. Kaylee, uh, we appreciate you taking a few minutes with us from Hawaii. Don't let us distract you any further. Go do your thing. You got to go do some surfing or whatever to relax and get ready. We'll send you some BYU sports station karma uh, to play well against St. Louis. And again, thanks for the time. Yep. Thank you.